Good morning, everyone. We give God praise for today, the Monday, 18th December 2007. We thank God for His awesome presence throughout the entire weekend and His deliverance from evil. God has shielded us and we are alive to see today. I want you to share this quiet and right away on your timeline. And come back and start inviting all your family and friends to join in as we start our day with a blessing. Guess what? We are going to partake in the communion today. In fact, a special communion. You do not want to miss that. I came to introduce to you your best friend as well this morning. So invite all your family and friends to join in as we speak in tongues and we build ourselves up and charge ourselves up for the day in the name of Jesus. Yandere boshi kendere we andara bo sindere we kendere boshi ndere andara bara baba ye kendere we andara bo zikind ara ve kendara bo sindere andara bara ye kendere we andara bo sit eleve kan ere mo shin eleve ye kendere bo sit ara ya andara ba kendere bo shon eleve andara bara ye kendere mo sindere we kendere bo shon dere we andiri bo kend ara ba ya andere ve mesuri andara ba ye kendere bo shon dere ve kon bari andara bi indere ve kendere bo sindere ve kendere bo shon dere ve re Darabadon di ribo sindere ve kondere bo sindere ve adiri bo yendere ve kendere bo sindere ve kendere bo adiri ve yenduri mo sindere ve kendere bo shod eleve dari andarabore mesot elevi kend arabo shod arabi andarabe re imo sindere ve adere ba kend eleve shod ere ba yendere ve imare andarabe dari mo sot eleve kondere bo shod eleve dere bo re ikend arabo mo sot arabe ke ba ri Yen dara boshin eleve dere bore. Yen dara maset eleve dar. Yen dere be kin dere boshon eleba yen dere vere. Yen kambore a dere boshet elevi kin dere boshot eleve dore ba yen dere boyon. Yen suri yen dara ba bora. Yen kin dere boshot eleve dere bara. Yen vi yen dere boshet eleve kabi yen dere boshin dere bokon dere boshet eleva dere bore. Yen kin dere boshon dere vere dar. Yen dara boshet eleve dara ba bar. Ye can that a boat, that he and that a more, that they can add a more shame and a bed. Yes, Suri and all of a coba, he and that a road, that he both sit and a bed and a boat. Oh, Lord, this morning. We join creation and we say, Lord, there is nobody like you. Among the gods, there is none like you. You are Jehovah El Shaddai, the mighty breasted one, the amazing one. Lord, we have searched, we've gone all over and we have concluded that you are in a class of your own. Therefore, we give you praise. We give you all the glory, all the honor. Lord, we would have been utterly consumed if not for you. Therefore, we give you praise, Lord. We honor you this morning. Thank you for being our shield. Thank you for being our buckler. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Thank you for your provision. We are so honored to be your children. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only son to die for us. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. Lord, as we look into your word today and we partake in the communion, we pray that your presence will engulf us in the name of Jesus. Grant us the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and understanding in the knowledge of you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning one more time. My name is Pastor Mrs. Engineer John Bright and I bring you the quiet time written by my father, Bishop Daddy Ward Mills. And uh, this is on behalf of my husband, my pastor, my king, my lord, the one and only living mandate, Reverend Peter Bright Sr. He is my covering and I am most blessed and honored to be married to him and to help him to fulfill the mandate upon his life. He extends his warmest love to you and to yours this morning. 
you are going through today victorious in the name of Jesus. If you haven't shared a quiet time already, kindly do so. And please start inviting all your friends to join in because God has a special word for you. Are you lonely? Are you looking for someone to hang out with? Have you been searching all over the place looking for the best friend? That friend that can be there for you through think and thing. Then I came to introduce him to you. His name is Jesus. I want us to turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. We shall read all the way to 39. We are reading the King James Version. It says that he that spared not his own son, but delivered him, up for us all he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things meaning that if god did not hold back sacrificing his only son not that he, Jesus, God had many sons. He had only one. And he did not even withhold his only son from shedding his blood for us on Calvary. From saving us. From snatching us from the clutches of hell. Then for real, there is just nothing that God can withhold from us. It is a lie from the pit of, the, of hell when we sometimes go through issues and we think that God has left us, and when we are going through a, a period of want and need, and we think that God cannot give us such, we are going through penury. It's like you are living from hand to mouth, and you think that God cannot feed you. It is a lie from the pit of hell. If God did not withhold his only begotten son, not that he had many sons. He only had one. And for the love he had for you and I, he sacrificed and let give his only son freely, not grudgingly. He gave him freely for you and I. Then for real, that money you are looking for, he can provide it. That husband you are looking for, he can provide it. The wife you are looking for, he can provide it. He can sort out your marriage and make it beautiful. He can organize your life and make it beautiful. Verse 33, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall tribulation or distress, or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or peril or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we understand that Jesus Christ came to die for us, whatever situations we find ourselves in, whether they are tribulations, whether it is near-death experiences, no matter how difficult the situation is, we are confident that we are not alone. We are confident that 
God loves us. We are confident that if he sent his only son to die for us and Jesus did not give up on the cross in the process of trying to save us, then we also must not allow anything to separate us from the love of God. That which we are going through is actually little compared to what Jesus did for us on Calvary. He loves us so deeply that he did not give up on us on the cross. Even when he asked for water on the cross and they gave him vinegar, he did not give up. When he was being mocked at, he was actually God himself. And he could have just sorted everybody out, but he didn't. He did not change his mind just because he loved us so, so deeply. There is nothing, there is nothing he cannot do for you and I. Therefore, we must also be committed to him. He is committed to us as, uh, as our best friend. He is the only one that keeps confidentiality. Are you looking for someone to share your secrets with? To share your deepest fears with? He is that one and true friend that sticks closer than a brother. I want you to just listen to this song.
Jesus is more than a friend. Who is that friend that will die for you? There is none other. He is the one you've been searching for all this while. He is the greatest friend ever. John chapter 15 verse 13. The greater love had no man than this greater love had no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends there is no other greater love than this that a man will lay down his life for a friend there is no friend like jesus no friend like jesus who laid down his life for his friend. He is that greatest friend that you've been looking for. The best friend you've been searching for all these years is Jesus. He's the only one who understands your deepest fears. There are times that my husband and I are going through things and you just do not know who to turn to, who to trust and who to talk to. But when we talk to Jesus, he just understands. There are times that I don't even have words to express myself. But Jesus understands deeply what I'm going through. And he's able to just sort it out right on time. There is no friend that can be compared to him. My father, Bishop Daniel Mill, says that I have discovered that God is our greatest friend. God is our greatest friend. Traditionally, people have blamed the Lord for every bad thing that happened. Even in legal jargons, events like earthquakes, floods, tsunamis, tornadoes are called the acts of God in legal practice it's called the acts of God if God does all these evil things what is the devil doing if it is God that is doing all these evil things then what is the devil spending his time doing God's real nature is revealed to us in the word his real nature is revealed to us in the world. The devil wants you to believe that God is fighting against you. That is what he wants you to believe. So when you are just going through one or two issues, the devil wants you to believe that God does not love you. But the fact is that God loved you even before you got to know that he loved you. He loved us when we were not lovable. He loved us when we were not lovable. He loved us when we were not qualified. He loved us and still loves us. And imagine Jesus did not stop there on the cross when he died for us. He as God has the God the Father has elevated him, giving him a name above every other name, and has put him at his right hand. Jesus is seated at the right hand of God and as if shedding his blood for us on the cross is not enough He is continually praying for us Making intercessions for us making sure that Everything is all right with us. There is no friend That can do such a thing God is the best friend that we have. He is the best friend that you have. The God you serve is the God of promotion and blessing. He is the one that when he blesses you, he adds no sorrow to it. When you go to the devil to bless you, you go to the witches, the wizards, 
fetish priest, the occult, the satanist, and all of that to get your blessing, to get money, and all of that. They add sorrow to it. There is a price to pay. It's either you are you have to sacrifice your child, sacrifice your wife, your loved ones. They always want to take away your loved ones from you. Or sacrifice something very valuable. But when God blesses you, He adds no sorrow to it. He makes everything beautiful in its time. That is the friend that you have. The best friend that you have. That is what he does. If God did not hold back Jesus Christ, what good thing will he will hold from us? I want you to remember an experience that the disciples had with the Lord. They were in a boat trying to cross the Sea of Galilee when a storm struck. What did Jesus do? He rebuked the storm. We see that story in Luke chapter 8 and precisely in verse 24. He rebuked the storm. By rebuking the storm, Jesus was disapproving of it. He was stopping the agents of destruction from shortening his life and ministry. The storm was not an act of God. The storm was not an act of God. If it was an act of God, then if Jesus rebuked the storm, it means that Jesus would have been rebuking God the Father. And that is not possible. The storm was not an act of God sent to destroy them. The Bible teaches us that it is the thief or the devil that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It is not God who is taking anything from us. It is only the devil who takes things from us. He is the one who comes to try to steal our joy. It is not God who killed your father. God did not kill your father. It is the devil who did it and orchestrated it. It is not God who killed your father. The devil just wants you to believe that to prevent you from developing your friendship with God and ultimately to save your soul. It is not God who killed your father. God does not come into our lives to destroy it. El Shaddai does not come into our lives to kill us. He is here right now to prolong your life and to extend your days. Your duty is to know and to believe that God is your friend who is trying to help you. He is your friend who is trying to help you. Who is trying to make everything all right. He's the only one who understands you. There are times you don't even understand yourself. But Jesus understands you. And Bible says that he is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. All our infirmities, all our frailties, all our weaknesses. Jesus is touched with it. He has compassion on when he sees us. Because he's been through it. He became a man. He humbled himself and became a man. So he, he lived in this flesh. He understands the struggles that we go through. All we need to do is to approach him, tell him what's going on, and he will sort it out. He is your greatest friend you have today. And if you want to invite him to your heart today, I want you to just bow down your head with me and pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I am sorry for believing the lie that you actually hated me and did not like me. I am so sorry. I've understood that you actually love me and came all the way from heaven to die for me. Thank you for shedding your blood on Calvary. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died and rose again on the third day. And you are now seated at the right hand of God the Father, making intercessions for me.
Thank you, Jesus. I invite you into my heart. Take absolute control. Heal my life. Set it right. I surrender my will, my life to you. Do with me as you will. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You are born again. If you give your life to Jesus, you pray that prayer with me, you are born again. Your sins are washed away. You are cleansed and you have a best friend. I would like you to start nurturing that relationship with him. And I want to introduce these two books to you. It help you to understand much better what Jesus came to do for us on Calvary, how to preach salvation. This book is a dynamite. It will help you to understand what the power we have available to us. The power in the blood of Jesus. It will help you to understand the love that God has for you. And if you're already born again, it will help you to understand it even much more and deeper and help you to also share the gospel, the love of Jesus to others. And I'd like to introduce this one, The Fundamentals of Evangelism. This is a beautiful textbook that you can use to teach others to bring many, many to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So please get these books. This one is part of the Mantano. The Mantano is 11 textbooks written by my father, Bishop Doug Heward Mills. And this is part of the Macarius 60. The Macarius is a treasure library of 60 books. The books you are seeing behind me, there are 60 of them. And this beautiful one is one of them. So please call the numbers that I've scrolled on your screen to place your order this morning. Do not procrastinate it. Call the numbers that I have scrolled on your screen to place your order. And you will be rejoicing all the way. My people are perished for lack of knowledge. What you don't know can cost you a lot. So please get these books and educate yourself and get the right knowledge that God wants you to have. God wants you to be of earthly good. To accomplish your purpose here on earth. And to make it in heaven in grand style and these books will help you to get there and if you are looking for a place to go have a retreat or spend time with the Lord or uh, just pop in and pray and go back home our prayer gardens at DMEC is open to you and our self-catering facilities are open to you all you need to do is to call any of the numbers that have scrolled on your screen and you'll be directed there but it's located on kilometer five on the ibadan ugomosho expressway right here in nigeria dmec is dagiwood mills international macarius empowerment center it's a beautiful place and it's a one-stop place to get all of my father's books as well and we have conference facilities if you want to take a group of people there as well to teach them you are more than welcome. We look forward to hosting you in our beautiful place. I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. is The Mandate TV. And also subscribe to... You know, like this page right after the broadcast is over. Right after the communion, like this page. And also like our other official page, which is Peter Bryce Senior hyphen The Mandate. So that you can get notified every time the Monday comes up with his beautiful revelatory programs like Monday Drive, Moments with the Mandate. It's in the book and Macario 60. So that you don't miss out on any, any, any of this power packed, life transforming broadcast. So please like all these pages right after the broadcast. It is time for us to have the communion. The healing balm of God is going to touch you today like never before. I would like you to grab some water, grab some juice as we prepare to have the communion. 
my father is going to lead us to take the communion which was broken for you verse 51 drink this is my blood I am the living bread which is poured out for you which came down from heaven whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood if any man eats of this bread he shall live forever for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drinking And the deep. bread which I will give is my flesh. The cup of blessing that we bless, it's the communion which I will give for the of life the body of the world. Christ. The bread which we break, Verse 52. it's the communion of the body of Christ. Oh, How can this man this give us his flesh to
now the blood whatever sin has kept you and mistake has made you like a prodigal son mm. by today's holy communion you are delivered from your sin that keeps you down Amen. your mistake is wiped away Amen. your mistakes plural are wiped away Amen. the blood of Jesus is fighting for you now Amen. the blood of Jesus is fighting for you Thank now you, father we thank you this is declared to be your blood yes father let it fight for every child, every person, and every life. Amen. When I see the blood, I'll pass over. Whatever evil has targeted anyone here, mm. by this blood, yes, Father. we are declared divine escapees In Jesus name. from every sudden attack Amen. against our lives and our life story. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The cup of blessing that we bless. It's the communion of the blood of Christ. Lift your hands for your Jesus blessing. The bread which we break. It's the communion of the body of Fight Christ. for your children, Jesus. Yes, oh, this is the holy fight healing. for your children, Jesus. Oh, yes, we call on you to fight for if your children. Lord. Cry, fight, for you. Lord. fight for your little ones, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Fight for the little boys, Lord, your yes, sons. Lord. Fight for the little girls. Yes. 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 Keep them, Lord. The yes, of the evil one, Lord. Yes. Keep them every day, Lord. Yes, Lord. Stop them, Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. My God. Whatever strikes it on the heels, yeah. whatever attacks on the feet, it will yeah. give you to prevent your children from walking the way they should walk. I cast it now. Oh, yes. And it will set them from your legs. Oh, and it will set them from your feet. I in the name it. of Jesus. I receive it. I disconnect you from vipers. Oh, I disconnect oh, you from Send angels to be active at this moment. Yes, Lord. Send angels. 
angels, Lord. Yes, Father. And divine angels, Lord. Yes, Lord. To move from the heavenlies into mm. the lives of your children, Lord. Yes, Father. Give your children, Lord, on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Peace. Deliver them from the shadow of death. Amen. Deliver them from death, O oh God. Amen. Yes, and keep them, Lord, by your mighty power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. There are people here. You are called small boy. Mm. But I hear a whispering. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit is telling me mm. you shall be called a father. Amen. Somebody is calling you small boy. But you shall be called a father. Amen. God is making you a father. Amen. People will look up to you from now. Yes. People will give you honor from today. I see it. He who was called nobody. <laughs> he who was called small boy. Yeah. Small girl. Mm. God is making you a father. I God is making it. you a mother. I Receive it. an impartation I to become it. a spiritual father. Amen. And a spiritual mother. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Instead of having problems, mm. you will be solving problems. Amen. Instead of always having a trouble, mm. you will be sorting out troubles. Amen. God is anointing you in the to name become of a father Jesus. of the name of Jesus. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, now I confront an age old accusation about you. Something is accusing you for a long time. I cast that accusation about you. I see a lion, mm. but it's not a good lion. Mm. It's a resistance. It's your opposition. But today, in the name of Jesus, by the powers of the Lion of Judah, whatever opposes you and resists you is cast now in Jesus' name. Amen. Every lion that opposes and slows you down and resists you in the name of Jesus, Amen. I bind you now. Amen. Amen. You have the lion roar mm. and fear, evil spirits of fear have entered you, but I command them to come out. Amen. Come out of you now in the name Amen. of Jesus. You shall no more be afraid. Amen. No more afraid of tomorrow. No, no more afraid of tomorrow. Mm. No more afraid of the night. Yes. No more afraid of the unknown. Oh. No more afraid of the future. Ah. God's power over your life is healing you. Amen. Setting you free. I am free in Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Bad spirits. Mm. Somebody here, bad entered you. Mm. A spiritual bad. But I command it to come out. In peace of Come out. Come out of the people. Yes. Come out of the people. Mm. Be set free. In peace Be set of free. In peace of Be set free. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever flies in your head is flying in your head. Mm. It's like thoughts, mm. roaming thoughts, mm. evil thoughts, mm. evil spirits, mm. wicked devils, mm. fears, mm. depressions, yeah. lust, mm. wickedness, mm. revenge. Mm. I command them out. Amen. Receive healing. Put your hand on your belly. From today, yes, Lord. your belly, out of your belly shall flow rivers of waters, rivers of living waters. Amen. Receive an invitation of the gushing out of the rivers Jesus. of living waters in your life. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah. Lift your hands and thank God. Thank you, Jesus. You are now a tree of righteousness. Thank you, Lord. People are looking up to you. Oh. Instead of you looking up always to somebody ah. to help you, you are now a source of help. Thank a source you, of salvation, Amen. a source of blessing to many 
I receive God, it. I you a father Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just Amen. as you honored me as a father today, so you shall be honored. Amen. So you shall be honored. Amen. You will not tell somebody, call me daddy, or call me father, or call me mother. They themselves will know that you have become a father to them. Amen. Receive that blessing in I your life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Give thanks I to the Lord right now. Give thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Father. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for healing. Thank you for snatching us from the clutches of the enemy. Thank you, Lord, for healing all manner of diseases today. Thank you, Father, for delivering us from all manner of demons and creatures today. Thank you for deliverance, Lord. We give you praise and give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. We are most grateful and honored. We are promoted in the name of Jesus. We are delivered in the name of Jesus. We are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we give you praise. Amen. Hallelujah. What a powerful time that was. We thank God. My father is heavily anointed. I want you to subscribe to his podcast and enjoy all of these messages and powerful times of importation and if you do not want to subscribe to the podcast i want to urge you to get dagiwa mills audio visit dagiwamillsaudios.org you can download all his messages right there be it pastors conferences be it uh, give thyself holy conference be it the makane which is thousands of hours of training they are all available for you just by the click of a button if you want the video version it's also available just go to dagiomilsvideos.org and you have access to watch him and be imparted the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me the anointing is in the man of God is on the man of God and is with the man of God. The anointing is in the anointed, with the anointed and on the anointed. And you need to connect to the anointing. Please do that. I want you to remember that you are a daughter and a son of the Most High God who created the whole world and everyone and every single thing in it. Therefore, you cannot be a victim of your circumstances. You are a victor. You are more than a conqueror, says the Lord. Go through today confident of who your father is. And remember, you have a best friend that you can talk to. His name is Jesus. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God at 6 a.m. GMT plus one. Bye.